Hello everyone. <laughs> I'm on my lunch break. And then these are my cotton stems. Biesta resistance. Um, oh, in 20 minutes I'll be going live. Hello everyone with another vlog and I'm gonna shut the windows because I know I'm gonna be cold as soon as I sit down. So today is Tuesday and as always I'm wearing my me and M suit but do not despair because I do wash it in between wears so although I feel like mm, no it's looking pretty good. So yeah this is my me and M suit that I'm just like obsessed with because I feel like it looks nice but it's also really comfy if you've not seen me in it I'll show you now but I'm pretty sure you'll have seen me in this at some point but yeah it's like cargo -y style I think it might be out of stock at the moment though but if it's not I'll link it so today is Tuesday and I've actually been really productive today and got a lot done it was a big filming day so I did a Zara haul I've done some TikToks which I'm getting on board with. My handle is just the same as Instagram. I'll show you. I did a quick hair highlights routine on there. So it's like a sped up version of the one I've done for YouTube. So if you want to see it properly, it's on YouTube. If you want to see it briefly, it's on TikTok. But yeah, I did some fashion content for there, which is exciting. And I've also done some Instagram content too. And I feel like that was a marathon even saying it. These beautiful flowers, this is what Tim's mum sent us in the post. Yeah, can you see? They're like roses and tulips. Pink roses, yellow roses and lilac tulips. So they're a real nice pick-me-up. She sent them through the post. So they arrived yesterday, which was lovely. Cheers up the room, getting fresh flowers. So yeah, now it's, I think it's about half two. I feel like I'm in real good timing today as well. So it's half two. What I'm going to do is edit my Instagram video because that is actually going to go up tonight. So that needs doing first. What else have I got to do? Oh, finish off tonight's YouTube video. Zara haul, which I filmed. Tim is editing that. So that should be up now. Then I'll try and edit my TikToks, but who knows? First of all, though, I need to go and get the camera off Tim because he has it. the camera please what? looks like you're not using it anyway oh no <laughs> this is not zara hall someone who has been caught oh, i'm on my lunch break <laughs> right i'm gonna bring it back in a minute so you can download tim's just made me a cup of afternoon tea, which I feel like is much needed. I just need that warmth and relaxation. And now I'm gonna edit my highlights video. So this is what it looks like when you um, upload a YouTube video. So I actually need to upload my thumbnail. Which one is it? This one. So let's save it so you can see it change up there. So that is the thumbnail for the video. And now I need to fill in all of these bits. So, I've just received a couple of deliveries and one, something I've ordered like two weeks ago, I actually think it was two weeks ago, from H&M Home and it's just arrived so I'm going to unbox that with you. Let's prop you up on this. Is it tea time? Yeah. Should we turn the oven off? Let's turn the oven off. Right, so let us hope. Can you imagine if this is broken? I will be so annoyed. Right. What is it? Oh, you Your shall base? soon find out. Seems very well packaged. Oh. 
broken. Do you remember that, um, was it the Zara, was it a glass? It was in everything for a while. Ooh, very Roman. It is very Roman, but it looks so, n how nice does that look? Those, and I'm gonna put the cotton in it. So at the moment, it was like we live in a completely different apartment. <laughs> what? So at the moment, I've obviously got these flowers in a proper vase, but this is for my cotton, and it's going to go on the table whenever I don't have the fresh flowers. So, should we go and try them in? So I have la vase here, and then these are my cotton stems. And you know that's really loud and annoying in the background. I'm so sorry. These are my cotton stems. So I've got three of them and I got them from Next Home in Manchester um, a while ago now when it was open. And they've lasted so, so well actually. It's a kind of the same as Pampas. If they're not like in a windy place or not somewhere where they get brushed a lot, then they will last for a really long time. So. I'm going to pop these now into the base. And the good thing about this, but the clear one that these were in, you could see like the little bits that came off the cotton, whereas this one, you can just see the cotton. So that's what it looks like. I'm gonna clear, I'm gonna move the flowers for now so I can see what these look like when the flowers have died. So this is what they look like and I got it to kind of go with that chair. Let's go over here. Let's go over here. Can you shush with that? What? That is just so noisy when I'm vlogging. Well, I'm trying to cook. All you're doing is putting meatballs on some tin foil. You can put the foils in it. So this now, I'm gonna show you another time when the when everything's a bit more organized. But this kind of blends in with this and brings the greys and makes this all a little bit more cohesive looking, I think. So I'm very happy with that. And it's not too like terracotta-y either. It's like it's not too bold, which I quite like and quite natural and earthy looking. So yeah, this is what it's gonna look like. But for now, I shall pop my lovely flowers on and keep that in the spare room office table, I think. So whilst we're at it, I'll show you another couple of things that I got in the post. So these are some PR gifts sent over. Um, so this is from Blanket London and it's um, they've sent over this skincare from, how do you pronounce this? Sarav? Hello. Sarav? Sarav. 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 Am I being really stupid here? So they've got a nice hydrating cleanser, which is lovely. And then facial cream here and eye repair cream. So lovely pieces to try out. Um, I've kind of got a little bit of a waiting list at the moment of some nice skincare that I'm using because I want to really focus on actually using brands that I know work. So yeah, I want to kind of like know what brands are right for my skin and what's not. So at the moment I'm using the Laura Mercier products which I really like and don't affect my skin at all or do anything I don't want it to do. So yeah, so far so good with that. Let's get rid of these parcels. Next parcel is from a brand called Sundar Bar. They messaged me the other day to see if I wanted any pieces and they've got some really nice pieces on there. These came so quickly actually. So these are very me. They are so you. Leather joggers with like a cuff cuff at the end i got these in a size 10. i don't think they had any i don't know whether they had an eight available or not but yeah i got these in a 10 and yeah i love the cuff at the bottom because i've not got any with a cuff like that so i shall be wearing those and also a nice one to wear around the house like they're still comfy but look a bit nicer than usual so i got everything that was leather from them actually i got this um leather kind of jacket with tie 
felt like that. So I thought it would be a nice alternative to my normal like leather biker jacket and just a nice springy kind of thing. Then finally, I got some more leather trousers. So this time they're like a straight leg and a lighter pair, which I like, because they're more of like a smart style trouser. And I got these in a 10 again. They look quite big. Um, so I'm not sure, I'll, I'll hopefully they'll fit. Uh, usually leather is a little bit more, like tight leather like that should, it's a bit more restrictive, so it should be okay. And yeah, it just goes straight at the leg, so love those. So that's from a brand called Sundar Bar. If I pronounce that right? Sundar Bar. Right, so that is the parcels. I'm going to sort this card out and we're having meatballs this evening. I don't know if you've picked up on that from what Tim's been doing, but um, I'll show you that in a sec. So this is what we're having this evening. Nice healthy salad with some meatballs which are cooking in the oven. They smell really nice actually. What have you put on them? Oregano. Oregano, is that what I can smell? Mm. Um, so that is what we're having tonight. This is what I've been snacking on this afternoon. Some spring onion. The spring in the onion. Okay. Um, tomatoes, cucumber, salad, salad, salad leaves, feta. Et voila. Et voila. Okay. 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 What's the time? Time for coronavirus update. I think it might well be. Oh, it's ten past nine. Oh my goodness, we ten are missing nine. it. it ten past nine at, wow. at five o'clock. Wow, it's amazing how that. Happens. It's yeah, it's it's ten total past five. Time walk. Do you know how we can turn the TV on? Because at the moment, I don't. <laughs> ah, I hid it when I was making my nice table display. So most of my jobs are ticked off today, apart from TikTok. So I'm just trying to, just trying to get to grips. <laughs> yeah, most of it I'm just trying to get to grips with, to be honest. So that's a, that's a feat in itself, trying to get to grips with that. But we'll do it. We'll do it. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna watch Daily Update now, um, and then eat, and then what? What are we watching tonight? Fiesta Resistance. I'm gonna put some of this balsamic glaze on. And maybe some mayonnaise. So the next day, breakfast and coffee is served. Okay guys, it's um, the next day as you've just seen. Just put the kettle on to do a salt water rinse because my wisdom tooth's kind of hurting a little bit. And salt water is a really good cure for it. I've, every time I ha feel a bit of pain, I use some salt water usually as often as I can. So it, my dentist said if it's bad, use it for up, like once every hour. So I'm just getting, just I've only got a small pain, so hopefully it'll go. But I'm just doing that. It's actually now the afternoon, it's like half two. We had to nip to the post office for a few things. And what else? That's it, I've just done jobs this morning really, so nothing too exciting. I'm actually doing a live tonight with Ruby Holly. We're doing like an IG live, and she's been doing like a series, so it's like um, a wardrobe series. So she's asked some really good questions, so I'm kind of preparing the questions this afternoon for it to go live at six tonight so if you've actually watched it and caught it let me know because obviously this will go up afterwards but yeah it's a really good concept she's doing it with different bloggers um and the questions are like really nice ones so like what's the most sentimental thing in your wardrobe um like five things you can't live without blah blah, blah. so hopefully it'd be quite interesting for people as well um but yeah she is doing a series so if you haven't caught mine i'm sure she'll perhaps be doing it with someone else next week she I think she always does them on Wednesdays. So yeah, that's that. I'm gonna prep for that this afternoon and I've also got Skype chat as well with some friends. So I'm gonna be doing that this afternoon um, just for a little bit once I've prepped everything. And yeah, that's about it. What else can I say? Nothing. Life in quarantine is not very exciting. 
So I've just had an afternoon chat. It's now half five. We're not eating yet. We're gonna eat after I do my live, I think. But I'm um, yeah, all ready for the live. I've just got this sweatshirt on, which was in my Zara haul earrings, PD Paula. And yeah, this is what I'm wearing for our little live. I've been trying to set up the camera and the tripod. Oh my god, that room is so messy now. It's literally in such a state. And yeah, it's all set up and hopefully no one on see it in the video but I've got like a rail out of all my pieces and the questions that Ruby's gonna ask me so yeah hopefully it'll be quite good and quite entertaining but yeah so it's 25 to 6 now and then afterwards we're gonna have what's it called Greek lamb salad you're not speaking to me now it's not speaking to me because I've told you more do you want to tell everyone what I've told you off about we're playing on the PlayStation too much with my friends so um, before lockdown, I was held to, <laughs> my life was held to football matches and our weekends revolved around what you could and couldn't do because, no, but you watched it and listened to it no matter what. At three o'clock on a Saturday, we obviously had to be back from wherever we were. We couldn't do anything until it was finished. It wasn't every Saturday. It was most Saturdays. Anyway, so we're just finishing off watching the coronavirus update as per. Um, and then, oh, in 20 minutes, I'll be going live. Okay, I'll show you my setup. Going live in about five, 10 minutes. So I've got rail here, my tripod here. We've tried to put it on boxes, but complete fail. Oh, ouch. I'm gonna negotiate my rail. way around and stand here. I'm gonna place my phone on this tripod and hopefully it'll work. Fingers crossed. Yeah, it's not gonna be good if it doesn't. Hi everyone, so it's the next day now. Let's go, let's find some lighting that's decent. I actually might go in the other room because you can hear the washing machine. I am aware that every time I vlog, um, <laughs> washing machine's on, and that is because I always do the washing on the days that I'm not filming content, so I don't have the noise in the back of the YouTube video. By the way, I've put my um, terracotta vase there. Really like it, love that look at the moment. I am going to, though, put it on the table when I'm ready, but let me just show you. So the bed's a bit of a mess because it's got a pile of Tim's clothes on. Need a sort. Basically I've cleaned this morning and um, when I clean the bedroom, I put everything on the bed. So I need to sort that out, but here is the bedding and the bed and you can kind of see how that blends in with like the terracotta -y style and vibe there. Oh, my battery's flashing at me. I do not like this. So what I was gonna do is actually show you what I was wearing because it's these new joggers from Sundar Bar. I'm gonna show you in the mirror though because this is a bit backlit. Stupid me, I actually came in here to talk to you and like set the scene a bit. <laughs> Otherwise I'm just going straight into it. It's very, very disorientated. Um, so basically today is Thursday. Put some washing in and done all the cleaning because it's bank holiday. I always do my cleaning on Friday because it's bank holiday tomorrow and it's VE day. I thought I'd have a lie in and do all the cleaning today instead. So I've got all the cleaning done, the washing's in and I just feel a million times better. Like, you know, when you just feel, I just, for me, cleaning just feels like therapeutic. I know a lot of people feel the same. So when I've got like the washing on and everything, clean i just just like oh so good but yeah i did my live last night with ruby which was so nice it was so much fun and I, I i like she said i just feel like we could have chatted for ages and i feel like she's really similar to the friends i have so uh yeah i've only met her once in real life but hopefully after this because she's only just moved up to manchester hopefully after this we'll be able to see a lot more of each other but it was so nice to do it had some really nice feedback as well um it won't be on anymore yeah she's doing them as i say with different people and she's got one on her YouTube channel as well that is like her wardrobe Q&A that people have asked her. Um, but it's such a good concept and I definitely will talk, I talk a lot about some of the questions she asked but I might try and cover them a bit more in some fashion videos because they were really good questions. So yeah, I just thought I'd 
tell you about that and mention you because the last time I spoke was just before I was going to do it. So then we had something to eat afterwards, we had a, like a lamb Greek salad thing which was really nice and then we watched A Bug's Life which we've not seen for ages, like years and years and years um, but it was a really nice just light hearted film and at the moment Disney Plus is kind of saving us from you know the bad times so right i will actually show you my trousers now because i really like them so this is what the trousers look like they're like this leathery style i've got some like this from zara but they've not got the cuff on so this leathery style um what are they called joggers <laughs> and they're in like this caramelly shade I'm looking quite pale at the moment because I've no fake tan on. Um, but yeah, this caramelly shade. I've just worn them with this black top. But I think they'd look nice with like a white shirt and some sandals or um, some heels. I think they'd work really well with heels and a bodysuit maybe. So these are from Sundar Bar. I'm going to try the um, leather jacket on with it too. But I'm not sure whether it'll go with these trousers. But I'll show you anyway. So this is the jacket from Sundar Bar. And I'm just... Ooh... This washing machine is not okay. I should really not vlog on these days. It's really nice. It's actually such soft leathery material and it feels really comfortable to wear. I actually love the shape of it too. So you can wear it like without the belt and could just wear it open like that, which I think is really cool or with the belt as well. Um, and it's really nice alternative. I would say it's kind of like a cross between like a trench coat and a leather jacket. And I think that's a really nice alternative for spring, like on those days that it's perhaps a bit rainy. I wouldn't, I don't think I'd wear it with these joggers, although I don't know, maybe, but um, I'd probably wear them more with, I think they'd look nice with my straight white under the stories jeans and my gucci loafers i think that's probably how i'd wear it um, but i feel like i need to experiment around a little bit and try this out in a few different ways but it's really cool and like um a piece that you could probably get a lot of wear out of um on those slightly cooler spring days i briefly showed you the flowers the other day but look how beautiful they are they're really coming out now most gorgeous spring colours. This, by the way, I've finished. I've talked about it on Instagram. Um, but I've now, I'm rereading it now. It's by Vex King. And I'm highlighting it as I go along because it's just really uplifting and kind of gets you motivated and in a good kind of frame of mind. So it's called Good Vibes, Good Life by Vex King. And I, I would really recommend it. So girls, I need to share this with you. I'm just gonna close the window actually. I need to share this with you so i've just put it on instagram but for those who didn't see it on instagram or who missed it i shall show you on here so does anyone remember this ad So, is this face familiar to any of you? Recognise it? Let's find another. Indeed, Tim. <laughs> he was in the Tampax Pearl advert, Mother Nature, which was on so much years ago. Like, I remember seeing the ad. I feel like it was on every single advert, like, that you watch. Like, every single time it cut to an ad, I feel like that was on. And I feel like it was like that for years. And it was just so funny because I obviously didn't know Tim at the time. But I'd seen that advert so many times. And it's just weird, like, not knowing that that was him sort of thing so um yeah so funny we did a little recreation for instagram let's have a look oh hang on we're not there yet uh, da, da, da. <laughs> oh dear so so funny but um yeah just thought I'd share that with you because I shared it on um, Instagram and some of you might have missed it on there, but yeah, just so funny. Ooh, 
it's better. So I was just gonna say as well before, um, cause I noticed um, this lying around, so I thought I'd actually give it a mention. So I have just finished this book, The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary, and it was really good. It was like a really nice kind of feel good book. It was a little bit cliched in parts, but sometimes you just kind of want that nice, um, I don't know, cheery kind of thing to read and just distract your mind. And I'm also now gonna start this one. So I'm gonna start this. It's called um, The Confessions of Franny Langton. And my friends actually got me this for my birthday and sent it in the post to me. So basically it's this maid that goes on trial for murder uh, in 1826. So it's written in modern times. I think it's gonna be a really interesting read. Margaret Atwood has given it a review on Twitter saying it's a cross between Wide Sagasso Sea, which I read during uni, um, meets Beloved, which I think I also read in uni, meets Elias Grace, which I haven't read actually, Deep Diving Elegant. So I think it's gonna be a really good one and a bit of a change from the other. So it's quite nice to mix things up and have like um, a more lighthearted one and then a more intense one. So I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into that, but I thought I would just share it, you know because we share things on here. Um, so it's like, what time is it? It's about half one in the afternoon on a Thursday. But I'm gonna conclude this vlog here. I don't think it was an overly exciting one, but I mean, what can be at the moment? I hope you're all doing okay. Um, this is going live on Sunday and Boris Johnson is meant to be making a speech on Sunday evening. So um, things might change soon after this vlog goes up, but we don't know yet. We don't really know anything and yeah it is what it is we don't know yet but i hope you're all doing okay during this time i feel like we go through ups and downs like we as people i've spoken to friends um and they've all kind of said the same things like some weeks are better than others or some days are better than others and i think i'm kind of seeing a small glimmer of light at the end of a tunnel and at the end of the tunnel um i know things might not change a lot but i think it's just nice to have mentally something that's going to change even if it's a tiny thing and i'm kind of seeing that now so hopefully but yeah i hope you're all dealing with it okay and yeah so thanks so much for watching my vlog i'm hoping it'd be so nice to try and vlog different things you know soon but who knows but if you enjoyed it and if you enjoy these at home ones um hit that subscribe button and also give me a thumbs up so i know and then i can make some more if you are enjoying it so or or actually if you're not particularly loving it or you'd like to see something different just leave me a comment because it gives me a lot of ideas and obviously i'm gonna produce content that you want to see rather than that you don't want to see but yeah thanks so much for watching i'll see you in my next one